This rare combat footage from January of 1944 from an obscure newsreel series fits in well with today's content, which covers the Latvian police and soldiers who fought for the Waffen SS. At the end of this video, I'll show more from the same newsreel, so stick around. It's worth it. The footage you just saw comes from the series Ostlandwoche, which was produced in the Commissariat Ostland, which included the Baltic states Latvia, Estonia and Lithuania. On the Baltic front. In Riga. The occupation of Riga, the capital of Latvia, took place in July of 1941, and the Germans were greeted as liberators. This rare footage shows them just after their arrival. Heavy fighting had caused serious damage to much of the city, which the Germans blamed on the Soviets. Latvian militias were allowed to rearm and began playing an ever-increasing role in the keeping of order. In addition, symbols of Latvian nationalism that had been suppressed under the Soviets, for example, the showing of the Latvian flag, were tolerated. Little did the Latvians know in the secret protocols of the 1939 Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, the Germans had agreed to Soviet domination of the Baltic states, which led to the loss of their independence in 1940. In early 1942, the German occupation authority began conscripting Latvians, giving them the choice of joining the labor service similar to the German Reichsarbeitsdienst, or police battalions. The main role of the police battalions was to ensure security, but it was intended that they would be active in other occupied territories. To a limited extent, some also saw combat at the front under the command of the Wehrmacht, Although there were instances of individuals trying to avoid military service for the Germans, most accepted being involved in the fight against Bolshevism. Let's stop the film here for a moment. We can see by this officer's shoulder insignia that he's recruiting for the German police. So let's talk about those that were recruited for the police battalions first. This is an original collection of the 1942 Die Deutsche Polizei periodicals. Notice the same police insignia. We are looking at number 20 from October of 1942. The police battalions followed the advance from the frontline German troops. In addition to dealing with partisans, they also took over control of recently taken urban areas to maintain security. This article goes over some of the basic tasks that were involved in this duty. Nummer 1. Durch die Staubwolke Through clouds of dust from typical roads in the east that are in terrible condition, the police arrive to take over responsibility of a recently taken city from the soldiers. Number 2. A bicycle-mounted police patrol enters a burning city. Number three, quickly radio and telephone communication is established in the new location. Important messages and orders are sent out. Number four, the police oversee the initial cleaning and repairing of city services that are most important. They make sure that the roadways are clear and usable. Number five, Police checkpoints are set up all over the city. Suspicious individuals are taken in for interrogation. Number six, the main roads are hermetically sealed. Suspicious individuals are stopped and searched. 
The Latvian Legion was created in January of 1943. It was a Waffen-SS formation which would be made up of the 15th Waffen Grenadier or 1st Latvian and the 19th Waffen Grenadier or 2nd Latvian divisions. The core of these divisions had come from Latvian police battalions and the rest were new conscripts. As it turned out, only about 15 to 20 percent of the soldiers fighting in these divisions were volunteers. The division commanders and most of the staff were German SS officers. The individual combat regiments were typically commanded by Latvian officers. Before I show more of the combat footage, I'd like to take a second to thank my Patreon supporters who have made the buying of the originals I use in these videos possible. If you are not yet a member, please consider becoming one. As a member, you get access to exclusive footage that can't be shown here. It's worth it, I promise. Soon I will be starting a series which covers an original diary and photo album written by a famous platoon leader in the 2nd SS Panzer Division, Das Reich. The division was mauled during Operation Typhoon in the effort to take Moscow. He was one of the 35 men out of the 2,000 that had started the campaign in June that still remained. It's a sensational first-hand account, the best I've seen. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thanks for watching. 